that looks like a lamb. Who are you talking to? Your sister, just figuring out when we can ball. <laughs> it's on the radio all the time. Oh, ah! oh. Mm. Uh, oh my ankle! Oh. I'm gonna call for help. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the phone is not broken, huh? <laughs> Same. About her ankle, of course. <laughs> Pourquoi tu ne l'aides pas? Pourquoi tu te mets mes affaires? Quoi un coup? Tu es de mauvaise humeur. <laughs> oh. Please speak English. Yeah, maybe we keep it French, huh? <laughs> it's exquisitely decadent. Well, it kind of came this way. No, it didn't. Yes, honey, it did. I always thought she'd leave you. I've been wondering lately if she was just an excuse to blow up my life. Are you seeing a psychiatrist? <laughs> no. I thought you married Jane because I had gotten old, and I realized it was because you had. I haven't had a heart attack since. <laughs> so maybe don't get too close, huh? Marie. Emil, le plaisir. Hello. Hi. Henry's mother broke her ankle. Oh my goodness. Yes. Hmm, what about the phone? Oh well, said he called, so the phone's all right. Hey, hallelujah. I apologize, but we had a long voyage. Night, everyone. Hmm, are you sick, mommy? Or are you just drunk? Let me just make sure mom got settled in. What the fuck, Sally? Ate those spaghetti without any sauce? Peggy, a traditionalist in the bosom arena, believes that we should sell sexy bras to old ladies, whereas I think we should sell adult bras to young girls. I should take off. I've got a deadline and hmm. honestly I didn't have enough dinner. I should go home. Sure you're not jealous? Hmm? There's so much boob talk going on between your girlfriend and these guys. I think I have an idea. It might be really good. Oh, it might be shit, and we can tell you. Take it all the way back to cavemen, and then do the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, all the way up to now, and then the future. That's very good. What's the product, though? Heinz baked beans. Oh. It solves a lot of problems, doesn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god. He might be a genius. I had something like uh, Heinz beans. Some things never change. Jesus, I think that's better. But that guy wanted to change the image of beans. He wanted to reinvent the beans. I have this terrible feeling about Abe. I think he's gonna end it. He wants to have dinner, and he knows weeknights are hard, and we just saw each other last night, and he wouldn't take no for an answer. You don't break up over dinner. <laughs> when a man insists on a meal, he has something important to say. It's usually a proposal. Mm. He didn't look like he's in a proposal mood. Unless he wants to propose a revolution. If he's going to propose, you better have your answer prepared. Especially if it's no. Gosh. Oh, now you got her hopes up. Mary Lasker and the rest of them know it as the truth. It doesn't matter why I wrote it. You're right. Who knows why people in history did good things? For all we know, Jesus was trying to get the loaves and fishes account. <laughs> you know, it's very interesting, but a lot of times you think people are looking at you, but they're not. Their mind's elsewhere. Lots of people that haven't taken LSD already know that, Roger. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. Okay, it's definitely not a breakup. I think we should... Move in together. How would we ever do that? Well, however you want. I mean, take your place and be better. Oh, he probably doesn't even believe in marriage, huh? <laughs> you don't have to say yes or no right now. Yes. You still want to eat? Does she realize this wasn't the marriage do. proposal? Yes. <laughs> back to Pittsburgh the minute I leave your office smiling. Really gonna rush off? I think Ken got your tickets to the new Edward Albee play. Oh, we saw it on Tuesday. We came in a couple days early. Alice loves the city. Did I not mention that? 
Oh, yeah, the meeting with another agency, huh? You prick. Raymond's putting on such a good show. He didn't want to go to dinner. He just wanted to do it in your office. We're getting fired. <laughs> you little rat. <laughs> it was supposed to be a surprise. Don jokes about having a house full of people, but he loves it. Don? Don. Don, please pitch my idea, please, Don. <laughs> Now's the time. A Greek woman in a toga with a little shepherd boy. And Marie Antoinette to a little prince, Calamity Jane, to a pioneer boy, all the way through the gay 90s to today. Would it all be the same mother and child? Yes. <laughs> a mother and child and dinner? That'll never change. Heinz beans. Some things never change. Can I get some more coffee? <laughs> Change plans. Back to time life, please. <laughs> I just hope Dawn's not there, huh? <laughs> so Megan comes out and does a double secret reverse to Don that it's over. And then they just pass it back and forth like a couple of pros. You weren't even there. <laughs> Ruined his story. <laughs> I don't want to take all the credit. <laughs> Why aren't you jumping up and down? I don't know what the Canadian equivalent of baseball is, but this is a home run. Okay. We have baseball. Well, this <laughs> is a home run. You're right. What's up with her? Why wasn't she happy? It's not as bad as you think, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> Sorry. Good. Papa, can I come with you to see you get your award tonight? Papa. Papa. <laughs> Qui va pleurer? Hein? Ta copine? C'est comme ta mère. Emmerdante! <laughs> There's still a picture of Kennedy. Hmm? It smells good in here. Peggy made a ham. It's my favorite. Really? Hmm. She didn't make Ma's favorite? Oh my god. Oh my god, who are you? <sighs> Sally, you look so beautiful. No matter what, one day your little girl will spread her legs and fly away. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wings, daddy. No, 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 I think he means legs. <laughs> this is the ballroom? There's no staircase. But here's a handsome prince. Mm hmm. And I think you're just the right age, Sally. Hmm? Pete will enjoy your company. And you will enjoy his. You're gonna be my date. Every business card I bring back, you're gonna put in your purse and say, go get him, Tiger. <laughs> what do you do every day? You're a scholar and an intellectual, right? I bet the world would be better off if they knew about the work you're doing. You are very kind. He's just showing you what he's doing. That meal. Is what I do every day. <laughs> oh no, now she's going to become a lesbian. We have something we want to tell you. Mom won't like really? this without a marriage. We've decided we're going to live together. What? What? <laughs> I'll take very good care of her. And how about you put a ring on that finger, young you know man? What? I'm gonna go. <laughs> I need my cake. Why? Because I'm not giving you a cake to celebrate just living in sin. <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm gonna get you a cat. <laughs> I'm uh, going to leave. <laughs> will use you for practice until he decides to get married and have a family. You want me to be alone? You're lonely. Get a cat. They live 13 years, then you get another one, and another one after that, and you're done. Thank you for dinner. You're welcome. <laughs> Shouldn't I be at his side? Go get him, tiger. <laughs>
Go get her, Tiger. <laughs> I always thought you were very single-minded about your dreams and that that would help you through life. Now I see that you skipped the struggle and went right to the end. D'accord, ma chérie? Bonsoir. But tomorrow. So what is her dream? Acting? Uh. Well, good news. He got her. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Are you finished with that? Yes. <laughs> Traumatized for life? <laughs> Did I wake you? Yeah, but it's okay. You get a lot of attention every time you call. Put on pants. What the fuck? How's the city? Dirty. <laughs> Says the girl who touched herself. 